everybody, Riggs here. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Office World Autofeed Electric Pencil Sharpener. It says here, black and gold. And here are the features that it says, pencil, auto feeding, fast speed, and auto stop at perfect point. Can adjust the size of pencil point. It's power by lithium battery it has a patent technology on polish after sharpening finished have no idea what that means it's got an android output there's no such thing as an android output i'll explain what is meant there it's a automatic expelling when the lead is broken and it has an exchangeable blade all right so let's tear into this puppy and see what we've got going here Okay, so here we have our USB cable for charging. Now, it does not come with the charger itself. It comes with the cable that you will use, and you can plug this into a USB port. It's a 5-volt charging, so make sure that uh, it's 5 volts. Mostly USB is 5 volts. Now, this connector right here, what they're referring to is uh, Android, okay? is actually called a USB micro type B connector. That's your so-called Android thing, but it's not Android. It's USB. Okay, plastic cover. And then we have in plastic our sharpener. And there's inst instructions. And that's what you find in the box. Now, let's take a look at this thing. Right off the bat, I would say that first impressions, it is a handsome looking sharpener. Black and gold indeed. I think it's very good looking. And back here, there is where your micro B, USB micro connects to. They list this as an Android output. That, that's not an Android output. Even though Android phones would use this type of connector, we don't refer to them as Android outputs. All right. And your micro type B, of course, plugs right in there, like so. And you will then plug it into a charger which so happens I have one already available here, so I'm just gonna unplug the one that comes with it and plug the one I have already going. Now when this thing is charging, you're gonna get this blinking blue light. When this light goes solid on, then it is fully charged. Inside here, on the bottom, is a rechargeable lithium battery it's a 18650. Now, 18650 is a type of battery. This one is a 2000 mAh, 3.7 volt. Now, the 2000, you can replace that with a higher micro amper hour uh, rating, like a 5000 or higher, or whatever. That's actually how much of a charge it can hold, which means that this thing can actually be swapped out with a different 18650 lithium battery and uh, hold even a longer charge, just as long as you make sure that it is a 3.7 volt battery. So that's the nice thing is it's replaceable and you have access to it through this screw right here. We won't mess with that. Uh, it'll be a while before you'll have to replace your battery. So if your battery doesn't charge anymore, you know how you can do it. You go on Amazon or one of those places, and uh, they're very inexpensive batteries. You get like four for 15 bucks, uh, or you can get one for a little less. And get a higher rating than 2000 when the time comes to actually replace it. They should last a while. Now on the top here, you see that had this, uh, says, and gives you an arrow. It's a dummy arrow so that you can actually turn this to remove the cap and you can then dump out the shavings like this and then you're good to go. You're golden. Very simple to use. 
Another way, of course, to empty out the shavings is you can remove this and then you can pull this off and then dump the shavings like this. Not my preferred method, so I'll leave that on and I would just dump this whole thing like this. It'd be a lot simpler. Another nice thing about this particular sharpener is that you can replace the blade really easily on this thing. Let me show you. I'm going to go ahead. You don't want this thing plugged in while you're doing it. Uh, though I'm not sure whether that's going to matter because of the fact that it still has a battery. So if you trigger something, ah, you know, anyway, my finger is too big to go down that hole. But you go ahead and you remove the cap like I showed you how to do that. And then you just pull this off. This is real simple to do, right? Okay, then you have this kind of, uh, I don't know what you call it, some kind of, they call it a wire protector, but I don't know what the wire is. But you want to just carefully push it out this way and it opens like this. Real simple. Just don't pull it back anymore. That's all you need to do right there. Once you have that, just kind of grip it down here like so and just kind of turn this counterclockwise to just unseat it and this thing comes right off. Then the next thing you want to do is just release, remove this piece right here, this little plastic piece. Just Pull that off like so. And now you have access to the blade. You can just put your fingers in here to help you lift it. And you can just lift it out. And there's your blade. These are replaceable. So at some point, if these things get really dull or something happens to it for whatever reason, you can order this just this piece right here and replace this blade. So that's a really nice feature where I have a lot of uh, pencil sharpeners that you can't replace the blade and uh, it is a real bear. So just slip it back in and it's only going to seat a certain way. So just make sure that it drops into the little gear thing down there. I got to work it. There we go. That looks like I got it in there. Let's see. Ah, there you go. Okay, so it's, it's now dropped all the way in. And then once you do that, put your little plastic piece back on. Got to turn it until I get it right. All right, there we go. And then you can put the housing back on. Make sure I gotta turn this thing so it aligns up, make it easy. Okay, and then turn it to snap back in. There we go. And then of course, click that in place, and you're good to go. Let's put this cover back on. Okay, it can only go on one way. It's got a kind of a cutout thing here for this long part here. And then screw your cap on until it's tight. And there you go. Nothing should come apart. All right. And let's charge this thing up. Did I unplug it? Whoops, wrong thing. Gotta love it. There we go. Charge it up. And when that goes solid, we're good to go. This is a fully charged sharpener right here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to demonstrate how this sharpener works. And I have some pencils here. Now according to the instructions, this sharpener should be able to handle 6 millimeter to 8 millimeter thick pencils. So from, from 6 to 8 millimeters. Now these pencils right here, I've already measured them. They're your standard pencils. So you have, for example, this uh, Ticonderoga, right? Oh, just broke the old lead off. Okay, we're going to have to sharpen that. And uh, what I got here, I have this Neon Doms round pencil. Oh, poor lead. I know you guys all like hearing me tearing up my pencils. I have a doll pencil here. It's a Swiss wood, Karandiak, Diaki, 
Diaki, Dox, whatever, Dosh, Karan Dosh. <laughs> it's a drawing pencil, okay? And we're gonna use that. The point is already pretty dull. I'll leave that alone. And here's another round pencil right here. I've already sharpened it, so I'll show you that in a second. And let's see. And then, of course, we have my uh, black wing. This one's the 42. Ah! Oh. And we'll tear that off. All right. So these are all pretty common sized pencils. And what I have here is my nice little caliper so we can measure the diameter of these pencils to make sure they're within the six millimeter to eight millimeter range that uh, is said to be perfect for this sharp mirror. All right, so let's start, for example, with this Ticonderoga here. Okay, the Ticonderoga, we'll zero this out here. It comes in at seven millimeters. See if you can see that, comes in at seven millimeters. If you want to look, you can look at that scale there. Just make sure it zeroes out. There you go. And then you can see that it is, you know, like at 20, looks like 0.27, somewhere around there. All right. That just helps you compare one pencil to another. Now, you can put the pencil there like this. It's, it's going to trigger it as soon as you stick it in there, but it's not going to do anything. you got to use a little bit of pressure to get it into the hole, then let it go and let the pencil sharpener do its thing. So let me go ahead and do this so that you can see. My, you know what I'll do? I'll go this way so you can see it. what's happening. Press it in. It's taking it, sharpening it, and it's kicking it out. Now that's pretty cool. And you can see that this is the kind of points, okay? It's not a long point, it's a standard point, but it's nicely sharpened. And it's done automatically, so that's really nice. So let's do the round pencil. And for the round pencil, let's find out what the diameter is on this. And we look at that, and we see that it's just like at 7.1 or 2. And you can look over here and it's not quite at the point three either, so that's perfect. Again, what we're going to do is down here you have a setting. You can do sharp point or you can do blunt point. So let's do a blunt point. Stick it in and let it grab. That's pretty cool, isn't it? All right, and then if you look at it, you can see that it makes a nice little blunt point. See, it's not the tip on there. That is really nice. So those are your two extremes. Now, I had sharpened this one a little earlier. It's another round pencil. This one here is the General's Droughting Pencil, which is a weird name, G314. And look at the point that it made on that one. Now, it's not a long point. The long points, you know, go out to here, which are my favorites. But it's a nice standard point, and when you have a big core center like this is a very thick core, you're going to get a point like this. See? Now if you want to compare that to a blunt point, so you can see that they get it in there in the camera there for you. So you can see the difference. One's got a very sharp point, and one's got a flat tip. So those are the two different kinds of tips you're going to have. Now I'm going to put this back to the point. Now let's sharpen my Blackwing 42 pencil. Again, just press it in until it grabs it, then leave it alone and it'll do it automatically. Oh, it even spits it out if it's holding it like this. Otherwise, you're going to do it like this and it'll just go up. Okay, and then there's the point. Nice point. The diameter on that, as you can see here, is around 7 as well. 7 millimeters. So, so far we've been doing 7 millimeter and then that there looks like 28. 
0.28. Now, here is the Swiss wood Caron, Caron Dosh, Caron Dosh, Caron Dosh, however you pronounce that. And we're going to measure the diameter of this one. Now, you'll notice that this one has gone to 0.29 to 0.3 on that scale. But if you'll look here, you'll see that it is not at 8 millimeter, it's at 7.5 millimeter. So this pencil sharpener is rated up to 8 millimeter from 6 to 8. But take a look at this. It doesn't fit. It doesn't fit and it's less than 8 millimeter. So that's an issue that I find because it does claim that you can do six to eight millimeter it says right there it doesn't even fit seven and a half millimeter for some reason it just won't let me push this in i can't get it in there okay it's too fat and yet it is a standard drawing pencil so here's the thing folks it does a great job in sharpening most of your standard pencils however this pencil here, even though, you know, visually it looks pretty much the same, just that itsy bitsy difference and it won't fit. So if you're going to be using, you know, certain drawing pencils that register at seven and a half millimeter, don't expect this to work on seven and a half millimeters. It's going to have to be seven or less which are what these are right here see that's a seven right there 7.1 so just that little bit that you see right here just that little bit right there difference uh, will prevent this from sharpening so unfortunately that's the negative I have uh, so the pros on this thing is number one it has a great look Number two, it has a replaceable battery. If this thing ever goes bad, you can easily get another one, inexpensively replace it, and you can even increase its charging capacity for longer charges. It has a nice little indicator letting you know when it is charging, when it is finished charging, and also when the battery is about ready to die, this thing will do this little flashy thing for a few seconds to let you know that this thing is about ready to go. Can you use this sharpener while you are charging? Yes, you can. However, the instruction says that if you can, just don't do it because for the life of the battery, apparently, it's better for the battery if you just fully charge it before you use it. But you can use it while charging. It does say that in the instructions. Calling this thing an Android output I thought was kind of hokey. Another thing too I want you to keep in mind is the instructions, while you can read them and you can figure out exactly how to change the, uh, the blade, which is really diagrammed really well and explained, the, the way things are explained is a little bit quirky because uh, obviously, you know, it's someone in China who is translating it into English and you know sometimes the way things are worded is a little bit weird it's not exactly how we would talk here in the US or in the UK but you know you can you can understand what is being said here so the the instructions aren't too bad shows you the two different ways you can dump out your shavings and I've already demonstrated that to you so don't throw your book out because uh, it is useful. It does explain things uh, really well. And it also gives you, of course, the type number of the battery in case you want to replace it. Just make sure it's 3.7 volts. If you increase this value right here, which you can, that's fine. Also note on the cons, this thing does not fit 8 millimeter pencils, at least not the ones that I've got right here, unfortunately. You can sharpen with a point or you can go to dull. You can replace the blade really easily as I had demonstrated. So there is a lot going for this sharpener. 
I think the negatives, just the fact that you can't do the eight millimeter pencils as they state. I would like a sharpener like this to do two different things. Number one, uh, maybe make the points a little bit longer, but that's just people like me who like super long points, but that's not you know what everybody wants. And I would like it to be a little bit wider open to allow drawing pencils such as this one right here, which is a common drawing pencil to be used because that doesn't go in there. And this is not a jumbo pencil as you've already seen. So that's a little disappointing. But anyway, nice sharpener, great looks. I don't know what else to say about it, except I'm gonna to have to now empty this out and uh, it'll be a nice addition to my sharpener collection. Please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Click the notification bell so you'll be informed of upcoming videos. Leave comments down below and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.